Hi guys, you are watching OxyVlogs and if this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, don't forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon so you will get a notification when I post my next video. And today, finally, I created a video for you about education in Dubai. The cost of education among private schools in Dubai is getting higher and that's why many expat parents uh, are choosing to homeschool their kids or send them back to the home country to study. As of 2018, there are around 195 private schools and school fees in Dubai range from uh, 2,480 uh, up to 130,000 dirhams per year and it doesn't include additional costs for books, school bus, uh, uniform, etc. If you're looking for a good school for your kid, you should do some research on Eat Arabia to make sure that the school is reputable. Many expatriate schools are English-speaking private schools that have British or American curricula, while others operate to the standards of their nationality groups like Indian, Chinese, Japanese, German, Russian, etc. Uh, school year is divided into three terms, autumn, uh, spring and summer. School day uh, starts at 8 a.m. and children finish their classes around 2 or 3 p.m. During Ramadan, the hours are shorter. Demand for places is strong, that's why it's recommended to do early inspection and enrollment and a good place to start your research is this website, which provides good information on schools and universities. When you're choosing a school, pay attention not only to the curriculum, but also to the culture and background of the school, teachers, students, because there are significant cultural and religious differences between schools in the UE, so if you get it wrong, your kids can stuck in the environment where they feel uncomfortable. Nursery schools accept babies from one year and kids start schooling at age of five. Some schools, uh, private schools, have entrance tests, so if you just move to Dubai, be ready that most probably your kid will have to take that test. Uh, most schools offer both primary and secondary education, so students don't need to transfer to the separate school upon primary graduation. And now let's move to the higher education. The UE has high academic standards and Dubai is a great city to study abroad. Colleges and universities in Dubai uh, offer a wide selection of undergraduate and postgraduate programs. By May or June you need to apply to a chosen university before the start of the program. I will leave the link to the list of the best universities and fees in the description below. And now let me tell you the list of documents you have to prepare. So first document is your passport, then application form, certificates, a transcript of your most recent academic qualification, academic references and proof of proficiency in English. The two main languages used in the universities are Arabic and English. If you are a non-native English speaker, you have to provide the results of your IELTS or TOEFL tests. To study in the UE, you need to have a student visa. In order to get a student visa, you need a sponsor. If you don't have any relatives uh, who live in the UE, your university can sponsor you. A student resident visa will be issued for one year only and then it can be extended. Um, you have to pay uh, up to 3,000 dirhams for your application form and uh, also 1,000 dirhams as a deposit. And here are the documents you have to prepare for the application. So guys, this was a quick overview of the education in Dubai. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you find this information useful, please support me with your likes. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.